gonna show you how to do it right now. I don't want to get into well, I don't want to bog you down. So anyway, here's my track. Uh, we're gonna play it briefly just to give you a, a taste of what it sounds like. I'm gonna play it now. So that's what it's like in stereo. So if you want it to get to the master, excuse me, the mono, what you do is you go into track right here. You go show master track, click on it. There, now we can see our master track. Another thing that you can do is you can go uh, uh, control command M and that will also get rid of the master track. or excuse me, it's uh, control, no, excuse me, control command M. I don't know, oh no, sorry, it's shift command M. There we go. Boy, I'm gonna have to edit, out, edit that part out. Anyway, so once you have your master track open, what you do is you go into your plugins right here. You go into utility and then you select gain and that's gonna give you a gain plugin right here. So you you go from here, go to the uh, drop down menu, go convert to mono, turn it on, and now your track is in mono. Now the song is in mo mono, and it's as simple as that. So I'll play it back, maybe you can hear the difference, I don't know if you will be able to or not. Uh, we're gonna turn it off. Anyway, I mean, the, when you're using good headphones, it's very clear right away um, that you're in mono. And what that does essentially, from what I understand at least, is that it concentrates all your music into one channel. So when you're in stereo, it's, it's spread out between two different channels, left and right. And um, what mono does, the benefits of, uh, of using mono, there's, there's a few. I run through them in my article at garagebandprofessional.com slash, uh, I think it's mono garageband. Either way, I'll put the link in the description. By the way, I got a present for you. Go to producersociety.com slash free mixing cheat sheet. That'll put you on my list to get a free mixing cheat sheet. And I send all kinds of cool tips and stuff that I don't share anywhere else. You can also join my forum at forum.producersociety.com. Um, for now, it's totally free to sign up, but uh, in the future, I'll probably lock it down and then turn it into a full course platform. But it just gives you an accurate representation of what it's actually sounding like. And it also allows you to mix your music so that it's going to have more versatility across a number of different sound systems. So from what I understand is that this is, has a, you know, uh, especially an applicability to large venues and things like that. So if you're a producer and you're making tracks as a DJ and, uh, you know, you've mixed vocals, you know, all of a sudden you're performing in front of a, cl a crowd and because of what's something called phase cancellation, what ends up happening is that maybe your vocals won't even be heard through you know, in the venue because it's kind of it's kind of coming through mono and your your levels aren't mixed properly and you thought they were because from, um, from what I've read, uh, let's say a venue, we'll use that example again, a venue, a large nightclub, it's it's not it, speaker systems aren't really set up to be in stereo because that's very expensive. Um, so it's usually in mono. So in in fact, like most things are in mono. I I imagine an iPhone would be also in would be in mono. It might not be. Um, I read that you know most televisions are mono, radio is mono, pretty much everything is it's shining through with mono. So you have to make sure that your your stuff is sounding good in mono because the reality is that most people are going to be listening to your music in less than optimal uh, listening environments. You know what I mean? Like there's other music playing. They're walking around in the street. They're on the subway. They're listening to it on a shitty phone. Um, you know, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and as I wrote about in my article. Um, when you mix in mono, it's kind of like, uh, or excuse me, a lot, a lot of people, if you're on Instagram and you're on the beat making side of Instagram, you'll notice that a lot of people will tell you to listen to their mixes on with good headphones. And, um, that's kind of an unreasonable, in my opinion, it's an unreasonable request to make of people because like, it's, it's like you're, what you're kind of sub communicating there is, you know, this mix doesn't sound very good. Um, through a regular sound system. So please listen to it with good headphones so you can actually hear everything properly. And that's kind of what they're saying. So you want to mix in mono because you want your music to sound good in in as many different platforms as possible. So um, in terms of what 
what you should be listening to things with. I just use regular Audio Technica headphones, the M uh, MTH 30X. Put the link to Amazon in my description as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really just as simple as that. You go use this game plugin on your master channel, open it up, convert to mono, and then it's in mono. You'll notice a difference right away when you're listening to it. Um, so lately, I I've been I've been doing that for all my mixes. Um, I've also been doing a lot more panning, and uh, and you know I switch back and forth from stereo mono stereo mono, but but I do a majority of the, the mix in mono just to see how everything sounds. Um, but anyway, that's all for this tutorial. You know, it's very short, but uh, make sure you check out my article as well. I really dive into you know this topic, um, and uh, I guess we'll sign out. All right, I'll see you next time.